this time around we're going to be doing a fairly uh, largely requested video. Uh, it's my render settings and I don't know I guess I have really good quality or something and I think something people get wrong a lot of the time is they um, they assume that the higher the number it equals the better the quality and in some cases this is the truth but in others it is not. So right off the bat I'm just gonna load up a clip actually I'll just um, we'll see what I have in my DX story. Um, sure, I don't really know what this is. Okay, so once you drag in your clip, so all I did was drag it from like a folder and just dragged my Battlefield 3 gameplay onto the thing. I selected yes, and you want to select yes. And a lot of people think that's the wrong thing to do or whatever. I don't know why it doesn't have audio, that's weird. Here, one sec, let me grab a different one. And same thing. There we go, it's got audio. Okay, so after that, um, you're probably going to go on here and be like, hey, it's only 8 bit. Yeah, it's got to be 32 bit. It's obviously not the best quality. Well, it just so happens that 8 bit is a lot better quality than 32 bit. And although sometimes you won't really notice a difference, in some cases it'll just destroy your quality. I noticed uh, any IRL videos, like with the Canon T2i, like I did for the setups. It, you especially noticed quite a hurt on the quality when you set it to 32 so just keep this at 8 other than that just set this to best set this to best and those are the two things you need to do here once you're done rendering or editing so I don't know just like cut it or something here and then I don't know you can disable resample if you want but that's only if you really want slow motion it's not necessary then when you're done you go file you go render as and then you want to choose main concept AVC slash AAC. I'm using Sony Vegas 12, by the way. Um, although it's the same for Vegas 11, except for Vegas 11, you click here, match media video settings, and then you just select your whatever thing, and it'll do the same thing that I did when I loaded up the clip. Anyway, after that, you go render as, you go, well, you just click here, then you click on any of these. So I mean, we, we might as well just, to make things easy on our lives, Internet HD 1080p, past this, um, I've done, you want a constant mid rate of around 14, uh, yeah, well 14. I, I notice 14 is the happy medium, 20 is too much, 10 is not enough, so I keep it at 14. Other than that, I think, like I can double check what settings I use. Um, well, these are the settings I use, so yeah, you're going to click on something click on any of the templates then customize template and from there you just want to copy down these settings so 1080p profile main although really there's no big difference between these three so whatever you're feeling for that day this is your frame rate obviously if you want higher frame rate just type in select so let's say you want 60 fps for an edit then type in 59.94 and then just enter allow source to just frame rate yes no nope, uh, field order none progressive scan pixel aspect ratio one Number of reference frames, 2. I don't know what that does, but I just leave it at 2. I, I, I fiddled that. I didn't really notice much of a difference. And then if you've got a NVIDIA graphics card GTX, then you're going to want to render using CUDA, as that does improve render times a bit. Enable progressive download. These are your audio at sample hertz of 48,000, bit rate at 192,000. Other than that, uh, system is I do nothing. Video rendering quality best that's really it then just go ahead and render and you're good to go so that's basically it I just wanted to keep this nice and quick those are my render settings uh, this video will be rendered at these settings and uh, that's basically it thanks for watching hope it was helpful